Hi, my name is Shane Dublin, and this is my Apply Energistics 2 tutorial. I will show you guys how to make very basic AE systems. First thing, before I show you how to set these up, I'm going to show you guys how to get the materials. This is a lot of stuff you need to do, and it's kind of a pain to set, off, set up in the early game. So after you go mining, get yourself their iron, your gold, your diamonds, and your quartz. This quartz is added in with this mod. You have charge quartz and Ceratus quartz. Charge quartz is uh, shiny. When you go mining, you want to find at least two charge quartz, or you will not be able to make a charger. The charger allows you to charge your tools from this mod, as well as charging the regular quartz. So once you make your charger that you figured out how to do because you have NEI installed, like this, and you look at the item. Actually, you can't make it yet because you need these flux crystals. You can't make these crystals, the pure ones, until you have these ones. So first you make your charger out of these flux crystals, which aren't pure. To make these flux crystals, you need three things. You need nether quartz, redstone, and charged ceratus quartz. So you need to find, actually you only need to find one. So you throw the quartz, the redstone, and the charged quartz into the pool and it makes two. Once you have that, you can make a charger. Now, you're going to need several different types of crystals. And to make these crystals, the pure crystals, to make the, f you need to combine it with sand and quartz. So you just put sand in your inventory or a crafting table because I don't have one in build yet. So you combine sand with quartz, you get these quartz seeds. Now to grow these quartz seeds into the bigger crystals, you need to throw them into a pool of water and let them sit. If it's just a pool of water like this they will take forever to grow. Like I'm talking hours and hours, possibly like an entire day, like IRL day. And you can speed those up by using crystal growth accelerators that are powered next to a water block. I'm not going to show you guys how to make them because NEI tells you how to make them. Anyways, once you have your crystals, you can make your processor parts. You'll be going for these processors right here. Now, to make these processors, you need an inscriber and you need these presses. To get these presses, you need to find a meteor. So build yourself a meteorite compass and follow where the meteorite compass leads you. There's no meteor on this world because it's flatlands. But once you find a meteor, you'll be able to dig the meteor, and in the middle of the meteor, there's a chest that has a random chance of having one of these inscriber presses. You need all four of them to be able to make all the machines in, in Applied Energistics. So to get started, you grab your silicon press and your silicon, put the inscriber up here, and you put the silicon in there. You have to make sure this thing is powered, and you get your silicon press. You do the same thing with pure ceratus quartz, gold, and diamonds, and then you combine your silicon press and the printed uh, logic engineering or calculation circuit with redstone like this and you get the final processor and then you can use the processor to make these machines and you should be able to make all the machines off of using these resources that I just showed you how to do now to get started, I recommend going straight to an ME drive and kind of skipping the chest, but if you just want to go for the chest, you can use that. 
Build yourself an ME chest and a ME storage cell. You put the storage cell into the chest. You can click on top of the chest to open it and view what's inside of there. It can hold a lot of things. Your chest needs to be powered. And to power it, you need to have an energy acceptor connected to it. And this energy acceptor will accept energy from other mods like Mechanism and IC2 and RF, I'm pretty sure. So you just put the power connect, the energy acceptor right next to the enemy chest and you can access it. Alternately, you can use storage buses, which you hook up to the chest, and enemy terminals to view what's inside the chests. So you put your cable down, your chest down, you put your storage bus on the side of the chest, your terminal right here, and then you power it, and you have access to what's inside the storage chest. And you can do multiple chests. Whoops. Redstone in here, plug crystals in there, and see now you have access to both of these. When you pull it out of here, it's no longer in there. So that's pretty simple. And then the final storage thing you can do are ME drives. So you make yourself some storage cells. These all vary in size. Smaller ones hold less number of items. They each only hold six to three types of items, however, the bigger ones hold a lot more of each type of item. So you hook your drive up to your power source, you put a crafting terminal or a regular terminal onto the glass cable or any type of cable. Make sure it's powered and that's how you set it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, likes, or a thumbs down if you didn't like it. Be sure to watch my next video where I show you guys how to make, how to manage cables and that's a little bit more complicated than just doing this. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.